Hi everyone, this is Tisha Unarmed, and I'm here to answer all your questions about not having arms. And as you can see, I don't have any arms. Today I was going to upload a video about how I take care of my dog, but for some reason my camera ate my footage. And I have to be able to get it off of the camera and get it onto my computer. So I'm having troubles with that. So bear with me. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll be able to do that. And you'll have a fresh new video to view. But for now, plan B is to answer some of your questions that you've had that I've been getting in my posts. So, this should be fun. Um, if you had a chance to have arms, would you take it? No. If I magically grew arms in the morning, I would immediately attempt to cut them off. I used my feet my entire life and I don't know how to use arms. And I don't have those nerve endings and I think I would probably freak out. When did you go to the Abilities Expo? I went to the Abilities Expo in 2012. That would be this year. It was around June, July. July? June? Late June, early July. And I had a blast. And you might, if you were there, you might have seen me there with my friends. How do you handle touching the floor? When I'm out in public, I do not touch the floor. I try my very best not to touch the floor because you don't know who's been walking on the floor or what's on the floor. I mean, when I'm walking around my house, I mean, I know what's on the floor here at the house. And I clean constantly so I feel comfortable walking on the floor in my house but if I were to go to like a public restroom I would definitely not touch the floor but if any case if I were to have lost my balance and ended up touching the floor my pants are long enough on my right foot that my foot would actually touch the inside of my pants not not the floor so that's how I handle that situation who is Chrissy Chrissy's my best friend she lives uh, to edit that part out sorry um we hang out a lot she does a lot of my videos we do videos together she has her own YouTube channel you can check her out at a uh, Zuntos you know, she's got some pretty good uh, videos going on there with feet. But she has arms. And she's really awesome. And, and she does... I think she'll do more videos of her doing things with her feet. Because that's just hilarious. Because she fails at doing some of those things. Although she did do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with her feet. Anyway, carry on. Dating, kids, marriage. What's up with that? I do date. I don't have any kids, but I would like three. And as far as getting married, I would love to get married someday. Do you wear contacts? No, I do not wear contacts, but in some of my videos I will have glasses on. Those are like my reading glasses. I need to wear them like when I'm driving or watching TV or working on my computer or reading. But as far like I can see, I just can't read far away, which I need to be able to do if I'm reading or driving or working on my computer. My eyes kind of they get they hurt if, if I don't have my glasses on for too long. But I can I, nothing's blurry, just just words. Uh, do you work? Have you had a job? I don't work now. I'm looking for a graphic design position. But I paint for the Mouth and Foot Association, so that could possibly be considered a job. I don't know if you would consider that a job. But the Mouth and Foot Association is totally awesome. They gave me a grant to um, paint, and I use that money to buy paint supplies, and I send them off, send them, send them off my my paintings. So and have. You had a job. Yes. I worked at a pizzeria for eight years. 
and it was an awesome job. I loved it. The kids were great. My manager was awesome. It was just time for me to go. I need to go back to school, finish up my degree, which I'm not using right now. Anyway, do you use deodorant? Yes, I do use deodorant. I wanted to know what the big deal about. What the big deal was. What is this deodorant? Why do people put it under their arms? Do people sweat? I mean, I know people sweat there, but I don't think I sweat under my arms. I sweat in other places, like, like my face. My face sweats a lot. But I can't put deodorant on my face. So, you know, deodorant is like a, like a smelly lotion that you can put on to stay fresh. So, yeah, I, I use deodorant, but I'm not sure if I have to. But it's, it's makes me feel a little bit more normal. Can't buy gloves, so I'll buy deodorant. How do you open a wine bottle? I don't drink. Do you upload and edit these videos on your own? Yes, I do. And I use my feet, my mouse, my computer. I do all that and I upload them. I videotape with my camcorder. And I edit. So, that's, that's fun. How do you change your belly button ring? I don't. I just leave it in. It's never given me any problems, never gotten affected or anything. Just when I went to go get it pierced, it uh, just stayed in. Although I think I might change, go back to my piercer and get it changed out because variety is good. I might get it changed, but I don't, I don't take it out. Do you need a special bathroom setup? No, the only thing that I need is my stick which I keep in my purse if I need to, but uh, that's about it. But I have realized that if I go to a hotel, their counters are like super high. I'm like, how am I supposed to be able to reach that? All the other counters are like low. And so the only problem I have is hotel counters because they're like super high. Do your feet cramp up? Yes, but only if I'm holding something like this for an extremely long time to the point and tight if I'm holding it super tight it'll get stuck and I have to pry my toes apart to get my pin out of there but that's that's the only time my toes cramp up <laughs> is there always someone pulling down your shirt when it rises I I have scoliosis, I think. My back's kind of curvy in the back. I can't see it, so I don't know. And it just so happens that my shirts rise up sometimes. And if I'm out and about by myself, I'll just leave it that way because there's nothing I can do about it. But if I'm with a friend or family member, there is someone always saying, Your shirt's rising up. You need to pull it down. Go pull it down. Are you ambidextrous? Only when I'm painting. What are your likes and dislikes? I like movies. I like my dog. I like painting. What are my dislikes? I'll get back to you on that one. Let me figure that one out. What kind of music do you listen to? What kind of art do you like? I listen to Linkin Park because they're awesome and I love them to death. And I guess rock and roll, I like rock and roll. But none of the new stuff. No offense to anyone who likes Lady Gaga or any LMFO. It's just not my stuff. So, I'm more of a Linkin Park and a uh, Nirvana. That's, that's my era. And art. I like realistic looking art. But people tell me I'm an abstract artist. Which is interesting because I don't think I am. But apparently I am. Who knew? Uh, what 
if someone wants to help you? I generally will let them unless I'm trying to learn something new, such as uh, learning how to pump my gas was a real struggle for me when I was learning how to pump my gas. So if someone would ask me, do you need help? I would say no, because I needed to learn how to do it myself. But now that I know how to do it, if someone sees me struggling and they're like, hey, can I help you? I'm like, sure. Now that I know how to do it and I can do it, Maybe I'm just too lazy to do it right now and spend 20 minutes getting the pump out of the car. I'll let someone help me. How tall are you? Four, ten, and five foot. Because one leg is shorter than the other. If I'm standing on my little foot, I'm shorter. So I have a range of heights that I can work with. How do you type on your computer? With my feet. Do you play video games? Yes. I play Mario Brothers. Nintendo seems to be the best video game system for handicapped people. Although I would not play the Wii. Because the Wii seems less handicap accessible. But the old school, like Nintendo... Uh, 64 is my kind of game, because I can push all of those buttons. Do you take pictures? I do. I've got a camera, and I take pictures, and uh, maybe I'll do a video of me taking pictures one day. Right or left-footed? For the most part, I'm right-footed, but I can use my left foot, just not things that involve getting high. It, this is as far as this one will go. So if I need to brush my hair, I'll use my right foot. Can you play computer games? Yes. The last computer game that I played, though, was Doom. And it gave me nightmares. Which was awesome, because I had some pretty awesome dreams. Or nightmares. They were nightmares. But they were awesome, because I was blowing shit up. Can you swim? Yes. I can tread water, but not for very long. Does your leg and back hurt? Yes, I have arthritis in my legs, and my back hurts quite often if I'm sitting for long periods of time, but, you know, that comes with getting older, so get used to it, I guess. What's the hardest part of being unarmed? Hmm. What's the hardest part about being unarmed? Reaching the top shelf. Slapping someone in the face. <laughs> Explain people's reactions. I've had only a couple of instances where someone's reaction to me was like, something that I would actually remember, but for the most part people would stare at me, which is fine. People are curious and they'll stare, look, or want to ask questions, but they don't because they're scared. So so that's what they'll do. They'll just they'll just look and be curious. But uh, I've had a waitress tell me to keep to take my foot off the table. I've had a guy at a restaurant tell me I can't take off my shoes. I've had a kid. <laughs> I was at the grocery store one day and some kid did not like the fact that I didn't have arms. And he reacted very strangely by screaming on the top of his lungs. And you know what? That's not his fault. I don't want to hear any comments from people saying how horrible this kid was. He was just maybe shocked and didn't know how to react. And, uh, screamed uncontrollably because I didn't have arms. Maybe he thought I was a zombie. Maybe he had a dream where someone ripped off his arms and I was coming to get him. I don't know. Are your knob holes ticklish? Yes, they are. They're very ticklish. It's right here. They go tiggy 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 tiggy. Is your last name really unarmed? 
No, it's not. But it's funny that some people thought that my name actually was Tisha Unarmed. And I just find that hilarious. That's just my YouTube name because maybe I don't want everybody knowing exactly who I am and where I live. So, this is going to be 15 minutes long. Ugh. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know you'll have more questions and I'll have to make more of these types of videos. But until then, and until I can upload my dog video, ciao!